the spirit may be excited in different ways and many of us are motivated by an ambition to enjoy the finer things in life. Entrepreneur Ronald Naya has recognized the power of this aspiration to luxury and his brand is dedicated to satisfying the needs of an affluent and discerning clientele. An upmarket fashion event told a tale of luxury recently and Karusha was invited to attend this members only occasion. I'm at one of my favorite locations in Johannesburg tonight, the Rand Club, which hosts a tale of luxury. It sees big name brands coming together to collaborate in a like-minded space, and one of them is Rahim Roji's bespoke men's collection. I cannot wait to see what's in store. Rahim, welcome back to Mela. Tell me about A Tale of Luxury. I've been at Rand Club for about six months, just waiting for the right moment and the right event to be able to talk about what I'm doing here and the partnership that I have with Rand Club and with Affluence. So tonight is very much that night. And tell me about the pieces that you've decided to showcase tonight. Inclusivity is the new exclusivity. And I think that's what this collection is about. You'll find something in there for everyone. If a man had one suit in his cupboard, what should it be? We try not to be too prescriptive because today we live in a world where there's individuality and people come from different walks of life and luxury is not necessarily pigeonholed to a certain type of person. I would say that the best piece that looks good on a man is confidence and chivalry and respect and reverence for life. I mean, if you have those things, it doesn't matter what you wear. So in Affluence, what we do is, we tell the stories that matter. And tonight, for the people that's here, you matter. And that's why you are here. Ronald, welcome to Mela. Tell me about what's happening at the Rand Club tonight. So we're having an awesome bespoke launch and we're bringing in some amazing brands. One of it is Roji. And we have Aston Martin in front, wines from Distal, and Bidvest Private Bank. As the owner of Affluence Group, why did you decide to start that company? We wanted people to see the beauty of South Africa. What we found out very early in the game is that many people knew of each other, but they never knew each other. And we found out that fundamentally they're after the same client base. So if you take luxury wine, fashion, luxury cars, they're not competing. And if you kind of make them work together, you kind of have the synergy. So that's really been the driving force of us, is kind of taking a luxury industry and trying to make it smaller. And in doing that, holding some brands together and kind of doing it to multiple brands. And why the Rand Club? If you look at this building, there's so much heritage. This is what South Africa is built on. There's a strong heritage that we need to kind of celebrate. So our luxury and what we do, is something we play forward. So I think it's a privilege just collaborating together. And what drives us is that Africa has a voice and we have amazing stories and it's time for us to tell our stories. Alicia, welcome to Mela. Tell me more about the Rand Club. The Rand Club's been around for more than 130 years. It was formed as a so-called gentleman's club in 1887. It evolved then from being the playground for the Rand Lords it then became the watering hole for all the wealthiest and most powerful businessmen in South Africa. And from the early 1990s, Rand Club's been trying to shed that image of being a colonial throwback by diversifying membership. And from about 2015, it's really, we've been reviving the club, not just to new members, but opening the club to Johannesburg. There's so many fabulous and wonderful brands that have come together and it really speaks to the value of partnerships. I think the interesting thing is that it's juxtaposing the old with the new. So it's looking at something that is historic in the city, but then bringing together the new vibe, the new partnership, and the new transformation that's happening in the country. Our collaboration with A Tale of Luxury this evening is really around the work that we do around art and how we're building our art business around quality. Art is really about excellence, it's really about innovation. Investing in art is about investing in value, which is really what we believe in, and which is really aligning itself with everything that's been happening this evening. Tonight 
has truly been about the epitome of luxury. But what I've taken away is that luxury doesn't need to come with a big price tag or a fancy label. It can just be about enjoying your favorite things, such as a good piece of cake.